Would you join me for the flag salute? All you did was just move that one item around, all right? Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Father, help us to be receptive to the thoughts and challenges that come to us through prayer, through the printed page, and from the world around us, and help our leaders to find the best solutions to the problems that we face. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. In compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act, this is to announce that adequate notice of this meeting has been provided. Also pursuant to the 2014 bylaws, rules, and regulations of the Board of Chosen Freeholders of the County of Burlington, time shall be, to, shall be set aside on the agenda for the receipt of public comments. Public comments will be received with respect to agenda items prior to board consideration of resolutions to be adopted. An additional opportunity for public comment will occur later in the meeting. Public comments shall be limited to five minutes per speaker. Unused time may not be transferred to another speaker. Persons may speak once per public comment period. I direct the deputy clerk to enter into the minutes of this meeting, this public announcement, and the advance written notice of this meeting. Freeholder Belgard. Here. Freeholder Donnelly. Here. Freeholder Howard. Here. Freeholder Schwartz. Here. And Director Gargano. Here. At this point, we're looking for a motion for the approval of the minutes of the July 9th meeting. So moved. Motion by Freeholder Howard. Second. Second. Second by Freeholder Belgard. Any questions or additions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? At this point, I'm going to move on to our public hearing. This is a uh, public hearing on Willingboro Lakes. Burling County is seeking public input on the application it intends to file for state Green Acres funding for the development of Willingboro Lakes Park located off of Route 130. The goal of the project is to improve community access to the 105-acre park by creating safe parking areas, adding an entrance off Beverly Rank Cocos Road, stabilizing and expanding hike trails, and providing physical and visual access to the water. The estimated cost to construct the improvements is $2.5 million, and the county's application requests full funding. Funding will be provided in the form of 50% grant and 50% zero interest loan. The county's dedicated trust fund will be used to repay the loan. And at this point, I will open the public hearing. If there's any comments on this project, please stand up over to the microphone and anything you'd like to say. Hearing none. The one thing we did have, I guess it's been a year or so back now, we had a really nice public hearing in Williamboro where we brought everybody, a lot of the recreation people together and a lot of the town fathers and had a real good conversation. I think a lot of those ideas and plans were brought into this project. So this will be a great addition for Bryant County and a great addition for Williamboro. We, yeah, at, at, if you, at, at the end of the meeting, if you'd like to take a look at the map, that's over there also. Mr. Director, can we have the county administrator read the actual uh, public hearing announcement into the record? We surely can. Donnie. Sorry. That's okay. An public hearing, an application with the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection Green Acres Program for the grants and on loans to assist with the outdoor recreational development of the Willingboro Lakes Park property, Block 13, Lot 2.01,3 and 4, Willingboro Township, Burlington County, measuring approximately 105 acres. All right. At this point, then, I'll close the public hearing on that, and we will move on to public comments on agenda items. If anybody, we have anybody signed up? Mr. Lopez. Mm. Hello, sir. This is basically a grant that comes in from the um, from the federal government for Homeland Security monies that will be spent to um, deal with our issues with Homeland Security through our department. 30 authorized and rejected contracts through. This is what we do monthly. It's any contracts that we're basically authorizing as we go on. How many 
contract there's two, awards. there's two awards tonight and if you'd like to get a copy of them or we'll, we'll get you a copy of those 33 we just spoke about this this is um this is the deal with our bus contract correct or our transportation yes yes so this is our this is basically software that's going to help us do our routing and deal with our transportation issues through our um Burling. 62, I think Joanne is yours. Yeah, 62. We have a contract with a company called Aramark who uh, provide our the food for the jail and uh, food prices have increased. So this is the increase for the cost of food for our prisoners. Thank you, sir. Anyone else on agenda items? Seeing none, we will close that public portion. We'll move on the resolutions. And I'd like to make a motion to approve items 1 through 39 by unanimous consent. Second. Motion by Gargano, second by Howarth. Questions on any of 1 through 39? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> I have questions on 2 and 35, and on 38, I have to recuse myself. You ready? Yep, go with okay. the. Absolutely. So number two on the uh, payment of bills. I only have two questions tonight. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint you. <laughs> um, tell me when you're ready. Okay, so page 14. Uh, there's an entry there for Burlington County College, and it says Parker Culinary 2007 for $101,091.06. Can you tell me what that is? Is it 23075? Is that the one on the top? I don't know because I don't have the full list in front of me. I just I just jot oh, I wrote okay. the note oh. down. County County College Park with Culinary. Yep, that was it. And is it 107,000? Or I'm sorry, 101,000? 101, yeah. Do you I know what that is? It's, it was 100,000 three twelve fifty. Total amount. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to check on that. Okay? I'm not sure why this. It's out of the capital 60. Does anybody else know what that is? Mark? Mark. <coughs> there were several uh, capital ordinances okay. for the college uh, when they built their, their culinary institute. Okay. Um, all those funds had not been expended, and there were uh, small amounts of, of, of funds left. They may have had another capital item. That um, were uh, that qualified for suit to that ordinance, and if it came to the capital, then that's, that's probably why we're here. Okay, so this is like a hundred and some thousand dollars we knew we were on the hook for, and we had allocated. Correct. We we, we still have uh, <coughs> uh, funds that have been allocated for, for the college that have not been fully expended. Okay. My <coughs> excuse me. My only other question was page forty-two, Joseph F. McKernan Jr., and there was just a. Um, I think there were a couple entries there, but the one I had questions on was the $3,277.99. Um, that was just professional services, various improvements. Any idea what Building that? Ground design services for various capital improvements. This is uh, 122 High Street. Okay, great. Those are all the questions I have on number two. Okay. Should we go on to 35? We'll on 35, yep. Okay, so um, I apologize because this, uh, I think we conferenced this back in February, so I needed to refresh my recollection a little bit about what these additional software modules were. Oh, oh I don't see either. I'm next going to also address a little bit. This is the project that we talked about uh, with the Globionics, our back scanning project that we did conference back in February. We're adding off the top of my head, I'd say about 14 million images into our new system, and this is the software that's going to allow us to make that, add that into the system and make it searchable, which will then make it accessible to the public. So when you're talking about images, what are you talking about? I'm talking about pages, images, oh, uh, wow. fees, okay. mortgages, uh, assignments, notice of settlement, okay. list pendants, anything that we have that we're involved in this back scan project, <clears throat> free order pendant books, a whole bunch of different stuff. The idea is to put that out on the web, 
make it searchable so that somebody in Bass River can do a basic title search from their house instead of lugging an hour and a half to come to mm -hmm. the office. And so do we need additional modules just because of the sheer volume? Sheer volume. Okay. Volume. All right. Thank you. Good. That's all I had. And then just, again, I need to recuse myself from 38 involving the YMCA. Okay. Any other? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Just the um, one I noted. 38. Um, Freeler Donnelly, looks like you have items 40 through 55. Thank you, Director. At this time, I will move against the Senate resolution items numbered 40 through 55. Motion, second. motion by Freeler Donnelly, second by Freeler Howarth. Any questions? I do have a okay. question. <laughs> I just wanted to confirm for items 42 through 40, I think it's 44, the um, the amendments to the appraisals, those additional costs, those are covered by the Department of Defense, is that right? Exactly, okay. and they're necessitated by the Department of Defense right. also. Okay, great, that's all I have. Okay, any others? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Thank you, Director. At this time, I would like to move the unanimous consent, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, resolutions 56 through 61. A motion by Freeholder Howard, second. Second. Second by Freeholder Schwartz. Questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Ayes have it. Freeholder Schwartz. This time, I'd like to move for unanimous consent items number 62 and 63. Second time. Motion by Freeholder Schwartz, second by Freeholder Howard. Questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Ayes have it. Um, we'll move on to nomination and election to the Burlington County Board. The Freeholder Board is in receipt of names of two individuals from the Burlington County Board of Trustees Search Committee for nomination and election to the Burlington County Board of Trustees. I am going to recuse myself from participating in the vote on the first individual. Um, at this point, I have a personal relationship with Mr. Brown, so professional relationship with Mr. Brown. So I will move out for a little bit and give the chair over to Joe. And I have a letter here that I'm going to give Paul. Thanks, sir. Sorry. I'm going to go into my office. It's open. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it easier. <laughs> Okay, at this time I am seeking a nomination um, for the election to the Board of Trustees of Burlington County College um, for uh, Kevin Brown. I have a question. Yes. Kendall, um, are we allowed to nominate or are we <coughs> just voting? How does that go? No, the, the name has to be placed in nomination. So the deputy director has asked for a nomination of a name. We should just leave it at that and see see who is going to be nominated. I mean, we, we know the two names that are being put forth, but the, the proper procedure is to ask for the nomination. Right. We, my understanding is the college nominates and then we vote? That's correct. That we the don't nominate? The college nominates for appointment by the freeholders. That's correct. And the statute mandates that the freeholders give an up or down vote to these two individuals. But that we cannot nominate? We cannot nominate anyone else. Okay. Thank you for that clarification. No, no, no problem. Deputy Director, Deputy Director, I'd like to place in consideration the name of Kevin Brown. Um, a second that. Can I? Okay. Can I have a roll call, please? Freeholder Belgard. Uh, yes, and I will say that I have the opportunity to work with Kevin on the planning board as the alternate to the planning board, and I will say that um, he's always um, very prepared, shows up, um, uh, adds quite a bit of input at the meeting, so. I will absolutely say yes to him. Freeholder Donnelly? Yes. Freeholder Howarth? Yes. Freeholder Schwartz? Yes. At this time, I am going to knock on the door <laughs> <laughs> and call back the director. Welcome back. <laughs> and at this time, I'd like to turn the proceedings back over to Director Gorgan. At this point, we'd be looking for, I guess we have another nomination, another nomination. which would be Katie Gibbs. Yes, but um, procedurally, you're going to ask for, for a motion. nomination for that name. Do we have a nomination? Second. Well, okay. we got to no. put um, the name in nomination. I'll put the name in nomination. Mr. Howard, or Freeholder Howard will second. 
questions so um i don't know if this is the appropriate time to talk about this but i will say that um i have questions about this uh system and the, actually the the procedure of how this was handled i know we have a sort of 30-day review period and i know we've been talking about these burlington county college uh, appointments since last year and this did just come before us at our last meeting two weeks ago um after it came up at our last meeting i did ask for information uh as to who had applied i asked for copies of the uh, either applications resumes letters of intent uh, I did get some of that information at about 3.30 this afternoon. But apparently what the county doesn't have is uh, any information from the selection committee as to how they came up uh, with the names that they selected. And I think in voting on these individuals, to me, as somebody who wants to make sure I'm dotting all my I's and crossing all my T's, <laughs> uh, it's important for me to know why the selection committee came up with the, with the names that they did. Um, apparently without having any information I don't even know how these names were transmitted to us because um, there's not even any documentation of that so I do question uh, the process here again with Kevin Brown I've seen him uh, work on a committee and a board so I have no problem voting for him but without m more information as to um, how the selection occurred uh, and and why uh, Kate Gibbs was, was thought to be the best of all of the entries. I, I have serious questions that are still unanswered at this time. Thank you. Roll call. Roll call. Can I make a small comment? Oh, uh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make a comment. Um, as you know, I had put forth the name of David Crawford, but I understand that that was procedurally, I couldn't do that. That's correct. Um, reviewing his resume against Kate Gibbs I feel that he's far more qualified he's a PhD he's on the faculty of Wharton thank you for your order roll call Freehold of Belgard no Freehold of Donnelly Kate Gibbs Freehold of Howard Kate Gibbs Freehold of Schwartz no and Director Gargan Kate Gibbs at this point we will move on to questions from the press Yes. And it's moving from Beverly, I think, to there, right? Yeah. Yeah. We. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's moving from Be from a location in Beverly to um, the Tabernacle Baptist Church, I think. Oh, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. It's new location, and transportation is going to be provided for anyone that would need it to go from the one location to the other. Yeah. Plus, it provides. Um, it's uh, huge with uh, handicap accessibility, so we can actually be able to get more people there. And we had trouble going at the other place to be able to do that. You had trouble what? getting people a handicap accessible to the other uh, building that we had. Uh, where was it previously in Beverly at the school or something? Uh, Anna, Anna, what it place was, was it? It was at a church in Beverly, and I can make it the exact same thing. Okay. 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 Entrance off of Burlington Rand Copus Road, stabilizing and expanding hiking trails and providing physical and visual access to the water. And the estimated cost of construction with the improvements is $2.5 million, and the um, county's application request was full, full, full funding. Okay, thanks. That's all. Okay. No other press. Now we would go on to public comment on anything. Lewis, you're first. How's that? With the YMCA, well, so I'm on the uh, advisory board for the YMCA, so it's inappropriate for me to vote on anything involving the YMCA, I feel. Okay. Yeah, no, it's a good question. And uh, could, uh, could I raise 
Can you put the, the country meeting in and to uh, see what the president was saying? We've, we've had a, we had a very big public hearing a while back that we went through that process. We invited direct people. We had, I bet you we had 80 to 100 people there with the presentations and the whole process that was shown and, and took input. And that's, ca that's figured into that plan. Uh, how do the mayor react to the uh, input, you know? The mayor or the... Uh, the town, thrilled. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think everybody's happy with that. A, a few years back, we ended up. It was a it was a, a a park that we took possession of again, and told them what we were going to do. And this is the fruition of that plan. Um, and I think the mayor and council were part of that. Yeah, absolutely. Meeting as yeah, well, they, right? they, absolutely. They, yep. So they were very. They've been. They, we've been involved with the township dealing with this day from one. day one. And would this all be already? Oh, when's it going to be finished? Yeah. Everybody finished. Yeah, yeah, we're targeting the end of 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, well, second time is, what's the current status of the repair of the Chinese building uh, and the Weber building of the uh, Woodland Road? You know, the, the status of the repair? Social services. We're on schedule, actually. We're hopefully a couple weeks ahead of schedule. They're moving along very well, though. I mean, if you take a look at it, it looks good. And uh, for the fall fair, have you seen any damage from the water? How fast did it? Nah, from the from fair? the water? Fun no, fair. that I'll be honest with you. That site it drains well. It it's it, well. Yeah, it's designed basically to take the type of beating that it had with those rains. I mean, it. You, there's nothing there that a rake doesn't fix. So, <laughs> and there's, they'll be fixing it. I thought you were seeing today, they were starting to pull all the tents out and opening it up and it looked good. It was clean, it looked very good. So what do you think of that the new bike on the 541 uh, bike pass? One of the people, what did you think? What we think of it? Yeah. It's great light. It's a great light <laughs> into a, a <laughs> and it's going, I mean, I think it, what's nice about it is that it's, it's it ties right into a, a, a part of Mount Holly that's growing and expanding, which is, a, is, is very good. It's huge. Yeah, we can get your copy of it. It's like 100 pages. Yeah, we can get your copy of it. I appreciate it. Yep, not a problem. Anyone else? Seeing none, we'll close the public portion. Comments for freeholders, freeholder Belgarn. Thank you. So uh, I don't really have too much to say tonight, but I did want to say to everyone in the county involved in the farm fair, what a great job. Um, I just think it was such a, a huge success, and I heard nothing but rave reviews. So thank you to everyone who was a part of that. And um, it's really quite a pride for Burlington County, I think. So um, thanks for another great and successful event. Very good. Mr. Schwartz? Yeah, I also want to comment, uh, but I especially also want to um, thank Mary Pat and her staff and also um, the Farm Fair Committee, who did a fabulous job. Those people are just so dedicated. It is incredible. They were very worried about losses from past years. And this year, I don't know the final tally, but I'm sure we made up for any loss shortfalls that we had in the past. Mary Pat, you see, the, the newspaper said there was 85,000, but you think the number is even higher for attendance? I believe it is, just based upon what I saw the days I was out at the fair. I, I, my guess would be 100,000, So that was really wonderful, and again, especially thank you for all the volunteers, and to um, Bruce Herbst and where's Rick Reby and his staff who manned the command post and made sure everybody was safe. I know that you guys put a lot of thought into all the what ifs, and luckily there was no what ifs, everything went smoothly. So thank you to you and your staff. For Donnelly? 
I actually, I was going to defer, but I'm going to make a couple quick comments as I'm liaison with public safety and resource conservation, if I may. First, I want to tell everyone that our, our public safety folks in the OEM did a remarkable job. Last Monday, we took what could best be described as a potential direct hit on our UPS system and had to jettison our calls, our 911 calls, and seven digit calls over to Camden County. And then we had to move staff around various buildings in the county to accommodate those calls so as to take them back. But Rick Treaty, Kevin Tuno, the entire communication staff of the 911 center did a wonderful job. And that was knowing that we had storms coming Tuesday afternoon and farm fair scheduled to begin Tuesday afternoon. So it was a, it was a great team effort and I'm most appreciative of the work that they've done. MP, you and I have talked to you and the folks in the parks department did just a remarkable job making the fairgrounds look great. Um, they did drain well. We had a tough Monday and a tough Tuesday, but you know, I was out there Wednesday and Thursday. By Thursday afternoon, you could see the wind starting to take effect and drying that property out. They had big crowds, so I, I'm very hopeful that they've done very well this year. Rosemary Kay and the Farm Fair uh, Committee did a great job putting a great fair on, which I think is arguably the best one in the state. And with that, Director, I thank you. Thank you, sir. Rear hour. Defer back to you. Mm -hmm. I'll just follow up with the um, farm fair. I know the first year we were there, we had the expandable parking lot, and we ended up, um, we had buses, and there was really not many people that used them. I think this time, I think they were running five buses back and forth from Columbus Sale to bring people into the fair, so that's huge. Those numbers are absolutely huge. Um, Rosemary, just was, we were talking, and she says, you know what, what this is slowly becoming is it's becoming the state fair. I mean, it's that big of an event when you get these well, types of numbers. You know, it's not just the Burling County Farm Fair. We consider it's becoming the state fair. So at that point, I'm going to be looking for a motion to adjourn. So a motion no. by Freeholder Donnelly. Second by Freeholder Howard. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you, John.